Dylan likes to lie a lot. He lies about, you know, just the smallest things, which the smallest things can be turned into the biggest things. And which that actually happened a lot. So he was actually lying to me a lot. I didn't like to lying, I didn't like to be lied to. So I uh, texted him that day and of course I cried because it was really upsetting. I'm not gonna sit here and get played and get played and get played and get played and be the guy to sit here and accept it. I'm not. That's the one girl I want to be with, but I'm not gonna sit here and put my heart in 100% just to have her put in 50%. I want the girl I first met. I love, I love her with every ounce of my being. I just, uh, me and her can someday call each other wife and husband. Or husband and wife. Jewelry stores, I went to or K, I guess. Every kiss begins with K and all that. And I walked in and saw eight, six, seven, nine hundred dollars. And I was like, eh, I'm 16 years old. You know, I'm not, you know, I'm not in that place yet. So I walked over to Walmart, you know, cheap little store, screw it. And I saw this ring. It was on clearance. It was four hundred dollars. Started talking to a lady, she gave it to me for three hundred and fifty. It was 180, it, was, it had 100, no, it had 22 carat stones in it. It was beautiful. Me and my mom and my little brother went to move with one of our friends in Weatherly Estates. It was so much drama down there, so much drama. I had two exes that lived there and which was not a good thing at all. So I ended up ignoring Dylan for two weeks. I get where she's two weeks in a house, two of her exes, I understand, I do. I understand completely. I, understand, I don't understand why she had to live there when she could have lived here five minutes away. I texted him one day and I was like, so are we done or not? and he kind of just blew up on me. Like, you're gonna talk, you're not gonna talk to me for two weeks and then you're just gonna automatically ask me if we're together. I just stopped talking to her for a minute. You know, I just a little, you know, just trying to make her feel how I felt. You know, just, just a little punch, just trying to get under her skin. We come to an agreement kind of that we weren't together no more. And uh, I ended up getting back with Zach, actually, right after that. She, I can't remember what she said. She, she owned up to what she did. And I heard it a hundred times. I did. I heard it a hundred times. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to, you know. How can you not mean to? I know I messed up. <laughs> we were the main couple. The biggest couple in London. Walking through the forest, you see this most beautiful flower, the prettiest flower you ever see. What do you do? Do you take that flower, or do you go on and try to find another one that looks just like it? And if you do, what do you do? You turn back after you haven't found one just like it. Do you go back to it? What do you do? I said, so why do I? Why would I pass up on the most beautiful flower? Why would I waste all my time 
protecting this flower, feeding this flower, nurturing this flower just to abandon it. Why? You know, that's, Brianna's my flower. She's, you know, that's, that's my girl. That is, you know, me and her are still not together. I can look at any guy and tell him back off. That's mine, you know, that's me. It was my 16th birthday. He'd kind of been hitting around to it all day because that morning he got me a set of pajamas and it was um, a pair of shorts and it was a black t-shirt that says, I must ask you a question, like the mustache. So I thought that was cute. I wasn't thinking nothing of it. I got down on one knee, she turned around. I said, hang on, hang on, hang on. She turned back around and I had the ring out and she goes, you're serious. I was like, does it look like I'm kidding? And she turned around and just started falling and just fell down and just started hugging me. That ring, it's, it means a lot to me because that's our relationship all in one. That's four years at the time, six years now, that's all of it in one. He actually took it back. I still wore it and uh, he told me that he wanted it back until we got back together. So he still, he now has the ring. Like I said, through the breakup, everything happened. I, I got the ring back. I stopped talking to her. It got lost. I'm trying to find it. Because that's, I'm trying to get back with her, and that's how I want to do it with the ring. We're actually progressing a lot. We're not technically together yet. He categorizes us as friends. She thinks I'm out to play her. I'm really not. That's the one girl I don't want to play. I played all of her friends just to get her. <laughs> you know, why would I play the girl I played the game for? She wants a family. Um, eh, on the situation, you know, it could help, it could destroy. I'm really, really excited to get back with Dylan. Very excited. Me and her planted so much for our life, and it's it would be a shame just to watch it disappear.